how do I connect Google Tag Manager to Hostinger Website Builder? Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Google Tag Manager with the measurement ID, which is going to be this one, or maybe it is going to be the tag ID, as you can see, into your Hostinger website. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. You're going basically here to head over hostinger.com and sign in for an account. Once you're on the account, as you can see here, you're going to head over the websites. Click on websites and then you're going to click on websites list. Now you're going to see the websites that you have. So basically you're going to select the website that you want to add the Google Tag Manager to, and then you're going to see it right there. Now, what are we going to do? Head over to the left side of the screen, click on more settings, and then we're going to choose from the parameters integration. So here, you're going to see all the integrations that you have into, or the possible integration into your website. We have WhatsApp, Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, AdSense, and etc. So I'm going to click on Google Tag Manager, and then you're going to see a little guide. So in Google Tag Manager, click on Workspace, DTM, and here we have the code. Your container ID will appear near the top of the window formatted as this. So you're going to head over to the Tag Manager, Make sure that you have at least a workspace and then you're going to see it right there. Normally, it will be uh, commencing or beginning by GTM. Here we have it, GTM. You're going to have it in here. So I'm going to basically copy and paste that. So copy the link. I'm not going to copy the link basically, but I'm going to have it like that. So. I'm going to have it like this. This is the container ID. I'm going to paste it in here, click on save, and then we're going to update our website. So once you have updated the website, do not forget to set up uh, the uh, settings in here. Basically to have a Google tag ID or the container ID, you're going basically to have the uh, specific as you can see, account and also the Google Tags. Go ahead and create your own account. Set up your, uh, uh, let's say here, the URL of the website of yours, as you can see here, and choose it for the target platform as web. Create, and it is going to have here the uh, Google Tag uh, ID set up for you. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you soon on the next one.